Welcome to audiobook, Blue Dragon and the Wang Xian. Chapter 3 Alongside the River <laughs> Next morning, as they walked through the village, the locals greeted them with warm smiles and curious glances. It wasn't often, that cultivators passed through these parts. And Lan Wangji's regal bearing, paired with Wei Wuxian's lively demeanor, <laughs> made them an intriguing sight. At the heart of the village, they found a small, bustling marketplace. Stalls were lined with fresh produce, handmade goods, and the occasional trinket or tangular. Wei Wuxian's eyes sparkled as he moved from stall to stall, his curiosity getting the better of him. At the end he had few tangulu and he bought jade bunny pear, obviously from Lan Wangji's money. Lan Wangji watched him with quiet amusement, his heart lightened by Wei Wuxian's joy. However, his thoughts soon returned to the task at hand. They needed to find the location of the celestial mountain, Tiashan, but so far, they had little to go on. As they were about to leave the marketplace, an old woman sitting under a old pine tree alarms them, Her eyes clouded with age, but sharp with wisdom, approached them. She was dressed in simple but dark maroon color robes, her hair a mass of silver strands that fell down her back. There was something otherworldly about her, as if she carried the weight of centuries on her shoulders. You seeking something my child, the bearer of the light? The old woman said, her voice raspy, but clear. Lan Wangji and Wei Wuxian stopped, just as they became statues. Exchange a glance before Wei Wuxian stepped forward. Yes grandma. I mean. For a moment, he thought that a dress not suitable for this lady. How do you know Lan Zhan name? We're looking for a mountain. He said carefully. A special one, called Tia Shan. The old woman's eyes narrowed slightly, and she nodded as if she had expected this. Tia Shan is not an easy place to find, she said slowly. It is hidden from the eyes of most, guarded by ancient forces. But, there are ways to uncover its location, especially for the seeker's seeds. How? Lan Wangji asked, his voice steady but laced with urgency. The old woman smiled, a knowing look in her eyes. There is a place, beyond the north side of the great river. A shrine dedicated to the Muma spirits of the land. If you offer the right tribute and ask with sincerity, spirits may reveal to you a path. <sighs> Wei Wuxian looked intrigued. And what kind of tribute would that be? The old woman's smile widened. Something of great personal value. Something that ties you to this world. Something very much important to your soul and life. Okay. Lan Wangji and Wei Wuxian exchanged another glance, both understanding the weight of her words. Whatever they offered, it would have to be something significant, something that held meaning to them. Thank you, Lan Wangji said with a respectful bow. The old woman nodded, her eyes twinkling with something that could have been amusement or wisdom. Good luck, young child, the bear of the light. The road ahead is long, and the answers you seek may not be the ones you expect. 
as they left the marketplace and made their way to the shrine. Wei Wuxian couldn't help but feel a mixture of excitement and apprehension. This journey was becoming more complex than he had thought. But with Lan Wang Ji by his side, he felt ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The sound of the bustling marketplace faded behind them. The sky was a soft blue, and the morning mist still lingered over the distant hills, casting a serene glow over the landscape. A large river ran parallel to their path, its waters glistening like a ribbon of silver. The old woman's words echoed in Wei Wuxian's mind, but he couldn't shake the feeling that this journey wasn't going to be as simple as finding the shrine. Lan Wang Ji walked beside him in silence, his gaze focused on the distant horizon. His robes, pristine as always, fluttered slightly in the breeze. The calmness of his demeanor was a stark contrast to the unknown they were about to face, but Wei Wuxian felt a comforting sense of security with him nearby. I'm done. Do you think that old lady really knows what she's talking about? Wei Wuxian asked, breaking the silence as they trudged through the thick grass alongside the riverbank. Huh? Lan Wang Ji responded without hesitation, his eyes fixed ahead. She knew we were searching for Tia Shan before we even spoke, and she know who we are. Wei Wuxian nodded thoughtfully. I guess you're right. It's just. I've got this feeling, you know. Like she's hiding something. But what? He twirled the jade bunny trinket between his fingers, a playful grin tugging at the corner of his lips. Lan Wang Ji glanced at him, and a soft mm. escaped his lips, the hint of a smile on his face. Despite the uncertainty of their mission, the presence of Wei Wuxian's playfulness lightened the weight on his heart. Their path grew more difficult as the day wore on. The terrain became rocky and uneven, forcing them to walk carefully. The river beside them was no longer calm but roared with intensity, crashing against boulders and foaming at the edges. The dense forest on the other side loomed ominously, casting long shadows over the path ahead. As they ventured deeper into the wilderness, Wei Wuxian's steps slowed. This shrine better be worth it, he muttered, kicking a stone into the river and watching it disappear beneath the swirling waters. Lan Wang Ji glanced at the setting sun. We need to cross before nightfall. They spotted a narrow stone bridge further down the river. The bridge, old and worn by time, arched delicately over the rushing waters. As they approached, the wind picked up causing the structure to creak ominously. Wei Wuxian squinted, assessing the bridge. You think this will hold? Huh? Lan Wang Ji said, his gaze unwavering. Wei Wuxian raised an eyebrow. I'll go first then, he said with a mischievous grin, stepping onto the bridge with a hop. The stones beneath him shifted slightly, and he stumbled, but quickly regained his balance. <coughs> Careful! Lan Wang Ji's voice, usually so composed, betrayed a hint of concern. He stepped onto the bridge behind Wei Wuxian, his hand hovering protectively just in case. They made their way across slowly, the wind howling around them. Wei Wuxian's heart raced. <coughs> Though he did his best to mask his anxiety with playful remarks. Once safely on the other side, they paused, catching their breath. See? Easy. Wei Wuxian grinned, 
though his legs felt like jelly. Hunter. He hugs Lan Wang Ji a playful way. But really he wants to hide his jelly-like legs. Lan Wang Ji gave him a look. Somewhere between amusement and exasperation. We. He knows his weighing than himself. So he pick him to his back. <laughs> Just like piggyback. Just for their joy, they enjoy their skin to skin touch in this hard moment. It felt safe and comfort. The journey grew more treacherous as they moved further into the wilderness. Dense vines and overgrown trees blocked their path, forcing them to cut their way through with their swords. The river, now barely visible through the thick foliage, became a distant sound, a reminder of how far they had strayed from civilization. We must be close, Wei Wuxian said, wiping sweat from his brow. The old woman didn't mention it would be this hard. Lan Wang Ji's eyes scanned the surroundings. We. The more difficult the journey, the greater the reward, he said softly. As dusk settled, the shrine came into view, hidden among the trees and partially obscured by thick vines. The atmosphere changed immediately as they approached. The air felt heavy, charged with something ancient and powerful. The shrine stood as a relic of a time long past, its stone pillars cracked and worn, yet it exuded a sense of majesty. The structure was surrounded by intricate carvings of spirits, and lanterns swayed in the evening breeze, their soft glow flickering like stars. Wei Wuxian let out a low whistle. Looks like we found it. Lan Wang Ji stepped forward, his eyes narrowing as he inspected the shrine. There is something more here, he murmured. Suddenly, a faint shimmer appeared at the entrance of the shrine, and from within the shadows emerged an old man, his long, flowing robes swaying gently. He bore an air of wisdom and mystery, his sharp eyes gleaming beneath thick, bushy eyebrows, resembling a sage from a forgotten age. His staff, tall and twisted, was capped with a crystal that glowed faintly in the dim light. Seekers of Tia Shan, the old man's voice was deep and commanding, you have come far, but your journey has only just begun. Lan Wang Ji and Wei Wuxian exchanged glances, their initial relief turning into renewed anticipation. The shrine has shown you the way, the old man continued, but your next path lies by the ocean. There is a cave within a mountain of stone, hidden by the waves and known only to those who dare seek it. Wei Wuxian raised an eyebrow. A cave? By the beach? The old man nodded slowly. Follow the river to its end, where it meets the sea. There, you will find what you seek. As the man's figure faded into the shadows of the shrine, Wei Wuxian turned to Lan Wang Ji with a grin. Looks like our adventure is far from over, huh, Lan Zhang? Hmm? Lan Wang Ji responded, his gaze fixed on the distant horizon where the river flowed into the unknown. My child and the bearer of the light, today you can rest here. Begins the journey in early morning. Old man said. Next morning together, they set off again following the river, as it wound its way through the wild terrain. The roar of the water grew louder as they neared the delta, and the scent of salt filled the air, a sign they were close to the ocean. The sun had long since set, and the moon cast its pale glow over the landscape, making their journey even more eerie and enchanting. When they finally reached the beach, the waves crashed against the shore, and in the distance, a towering stone mountain stood, its dark silhouette looming ominously against the sky. Dear Wangshan people, this is the end of chapter 3. We will meet in chapter 4 what they face in the cave. Until then subscribe, to not miss me. Love you all dear Wangshan people. <laughs>
不赢。<笑>